I still don't understand the film.
Welcome everyone. This is the Champion Ch Premier Cup Division of the Borp Crushers versus the Lakeshore Power. I'm Gabe Trujillo here with Devin Johnson, and we're getting ready for some championship conference action. Devin, how's it going so far? It is going good. Perfect. It looks like we're just about ready to get underway. Looks like Borp has the ball, and they'll start off with the possession. And Lakeshore is back right now, ready to defend. And we are just about underway. And the whistle is off, and here we go. Off the kickoff. We. All Whoa. right, Lakeshore with the big kick, sending the ball back on the offensive side for Lakeshore. Here we got. That was Mike. Forbes ball. Looks like they hand a pass over here to the goalie. Goalie's prepared to take it out. Lakeshore quick to defend. The goalie's coming out of the box. Looks like he's continuing to duel with Lakeshore. Taking it all the way down the court off the sideline. Back on offense. We're going all the way through. The goalie is continuing to maneuver around. Trying to get a best shot open to get it back up top on the box. Lakeshore is defending. Devin, what do you see here? I see... Where's the ball? Oh! I see the goalie... I see... See the goalie and Mike Navello, the coach of Lakeshore. And here we go. We got a goal kick for Lakeshore here, getting ready to take the possession. Back up court. Bore preparing to defend. Number 25, Derek Wise here, getting ready to receive the ball. Taking it down the sideline. Good cut off and stealing possession from number 91. Looks like we got a free kick here. How did, how did they start a free kick? Like, what, See, what is this, 89? Ready to take the kick. Jake Bath ready to take the shot. Oh, and it's through! We got a goal here by Borb with the nice thread in between the goalie and the defender. Let's take a replay here. Setting up the shot, trying to go wide, but then changes it up and threads it through with the quick goal. Devin, how do you like it? That was so cool. I thought that was, I think that was a good play. Perfect. Super now Borg good. taking the early lead here in the first half. Lakeshore ready to start back up. See if we can get them back on offense. Oh, we hit him. Off the... Free kick, it is now Lakeshore ball. Mike Neville looks like he's coming in here to take the kick. There you go. Quick thread through. Doesn't look like anyone gets possession, so now we got a... Oh, it looks like Lakeshore still retains possession. Nope, they changed it. It's not going to be a goal kick for Borp. Goalie's taking the kick here. Where's he going to go? Looks like he's threading it through off the sideline. Mike Nafell just smacks it. Goalie's continuing to be aggressive. Taking the ball down center court. Oh, nice pass there. Oh, looks like a two-on-one call. For those of you new to power soccer, the two-on-one rule where we have two players on the opposing team cannot be near another player of the opposing team within five meters, so then you'll get the two-on-one call. Flake towards possession. Mike Neville ready to take the kick. Borp setting up. He looks like he's going to do a spin kick. Or, no, doesn't look like it. Mike Neville getting the rebound. Oh, a little bit of a spin kick. Oh, right off of Borp. Let's see what we have here. Flake towards ball back up on the top on the side. He did get that power. Yep, John Madigan trying to go free here for Borp. Sending it out of bounds. Neville going through. Madigan on Borp. Oh, sends the ball the opposite direction. Neville continuing with defense. We got another call here. Two on one on Borp. Oh, Lakeshore. So Borp's possession. Here we go, some dueling between Neville and the goalie. 
Borb continuing to go in with the strategy on having the goalie come out and being the playmaker. Let's see if that continues to pay off for them. Neville continuing to duel between the two. And then we got a 2 on 1 here on Borb, Lake Shore possession. Spacing continues to be a little bit tight here at the get go. We'll see if it continues to open up. Mike seeing the action, trying to figure out where to go. Heading down here in the near side to Derek, number 25. Number 30, Josh Berger with the de defense and dueling now with Neville. Neville continuing to defend. Berger going around. Oh, and he gets it through. Uh, Borp with the wide shot over here on the near side. Lakeshore possession here on the sideline. Devin, how's it going so far? It's quite good. Here we go with Mike overseeing the court, trying to figure out what we're going to go. You got Devin Watt set up here on the center. He's going with the center. Oh, a little miss. It got there. deflected. Deflected off Borb, so now Lakeshore gets possession on the far side of the court. If that ball um, was a little bit slower, then you won't could have took it, mm -hmm. took it down. Absolutely. To a goal. Oh, Lakeshore with possession. Ah, oh, he loses possession really quick. Uh, we got a two-on-one here on Lakeshore. Borb's ball. Kind of. It's not. There's a lot of two-on-ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with all this two on ones, you can definitely see how Mike McCoy is going to be refing the game today. A little bit tight, so they have to remember their spacing and keep the floor open. Neville on defense. Oh, sends the ball hard. The goalie stops it since he's out of the box. It's still like short possession at half court. Neville continuing to push the ball down the court. Ricochet back to Neville. Borp with the good rebound and hit. Goalie's out of the box. For Lakeshore, oh, the pass back for Borb was a little off. Lakeshore that would have been cool if uh, he hit it back. Yeah, it would have. Would have been a really good play. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Borb with the deflection. Neville on good on defense. Trying to get back around for the Borb goalie here. Ooh, looks like we got off Borb. Lakeshore continuing to move the ball down the court. see how Lakeshore is setting up. They continue to have a far side guy on the opposite end of the court with Derek here in the center. Let's see where they're going to go back door. Mike gets a rebound. Sending it down. Mike continuing to defend between two Borp defenders. Referee Mike McCoy with the call here. Looks like it's Lakeshore possession. All right, we have a good free kick opportunity here for Lakeshore. Let's see what they do. Looks like they got two players on each side of the post. Neville with the kick. Oh, most threads it between the two Borp defenders. Number 91, John Madigan for Borp. Taking it down the sideline, dueling against Mike for Lakeshore. Mike with the spin kick towards center. Back and forth to number 30 with Borp. Taking it to court down the sideline. Oh, we got a pass to the far side of the court. Borb trying to get position, and it's out of bounds. It looked like he was going to get it. It did. It was close, but it was just a little off target. Looks like now we're going to have Lakeshore regain the possession with the inbounds. Let's see where Mike's going to go. Borp got into possession, taking it down. Lakeshore with the opportunity for a goal here. Oh, the Borp defender hits it out. Lakeshore possession. Out of bounds. Lakeshore. Mike Neville getting ready for the inbound here. He's going to try and thread it between the defenders. Spread out pretty wide here. Let's see where he goes. Oh, he just gives it a gentle tap. Borp getting the possession. Josh Berger battling with Neville. Neville here trying to get it down to the far side, getting into the box. Oh, he's got a shot across the goal box. But good defending with Borp. Let's see what happens. Neville continuing to play some great offense here. Neville looking for some of his players. Let's see, we got the goalie coming out, hitting the ball out of bounds. Trying to reset. 
Borf with the ball on the far side. You like that defense with the goalie coming out of the box like that, Devin? I think it's fine. I mean, he should stay in the goal for safety. Like, so the ball, like, he it misses him, and the ball gets still, and they score a goal. But, I mean, he's doing actually pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. Mike McCoy here with an, another two-on-one call against Boar. Blake Shore getting the possession. How many um, two-on-ones are there going to there gonna be? Yeah, there's been a ton so far early here in the first half. Like three or four. Tavares Steele on the far side for Lake Shore. Mike Neville. Oh, regaining possession for Lake Shore on the sideline. Chavera still setting up on the center court. Neville with the pass. Borp with the easy recovery. Neville fighting with Josh Madigan. Out of bounds again. Lakeshore possession. Neither team has really had an, a solid opportunity for scoring here after the initial goal. A lot of battle and action has been taking around center court. Lakeshore possession. Steele now with the chance to try and hit it in. Neville setting up at the top of the box, awaiting the pass. Oh, that deflection. A, that was a pretty hard speed kick. Showing some good power on the sideline, but we'll see what happens. Madigan from Gorp, ready for the pass. Oh, Another Borp spin kick. Borp with four offensive players with the goalie coming out of the box. Let's see if that strategy turns into a goal for the Borp crushers. So that's basically uh, five people. Mm -hmm. They've got an extra offensive player. Out of bounds off the goalie for Lakeshore. Borp regains possession here on the sideline. Would you say that's kind of unfair? Five pieces, four? I mean, offensive players besides the goal? It, it's a, it's a separate strategy. Um, some teams prefer to go that route just with the extra offensive player. Um, but again, it, a good defensive team will offset that fourth offensive player. Madigan and Neville continuing to duel in the corner of the court. Madigan had to deflect off his guard, so it's like short possession. Chavara steal with the inbound. Neville setting up towards center court. Neville with the nifty move taking the ball down center. Neville still trying to navigate center. Stolen away from the Vorp. Oh. Vorp retain, retains possession. Jake Bath, goalie now with Vorp getting the ball with possession, fighting with Mike Neville. A little bit of a malfunction here. My, my um, headphones are coming off. All right, we're set back up. Borb with the action now here, getting ready. Oh, oh, we got a shot. Oh, good stop by Lakeshore. Awesome stop. That's goalie Courtney Johnson with a good stop. Lakeshore goalie Johnson being aggressive here in the box, keeping the ball away from Borp so far. Borp continuing with the early 1-0 lead, hitting into the first half. Neville with a quick shot, regaining possession, taking the ball down for Lakeshore. Lay off to Steele. Lakeshore possession. Let's see who takes the inbound here. Looks like Steele. Neville setting up top of the box. Steele with a hit. Steele getting the ball back. Center action. Oh, we got a breakaway here for Borb. Lakeshore goalie with the quick inbound back. Julian back. Oh, looks like the goalie's coming out for Lakeshore. Is that Courtney Johnson, the goalie? It is. Out of bounds on Borb, so Lakeshore gets possession. 
Steele looks like he's coming over to accept the inbound. Neville. He's a really good goalie. He is. He, he's done a really good job so far here in the first half. Steele guarding on the center court. Berger for Borb taking it down the sideline now with the possession. What a nice move he made. Yeah. Looks like we got a two-on-one call here near the top of the box. Whose possession is it going to be? Oh, well, looks like it was against Borb, so Lakeshore retains possession. Oh, no. Scratch that. Mike McCoy changing the place, so now it looks like Borb with the possession, and the two-on-one was on Lakeshore. They're setting up the free kick here at the top of the box. Barth for Borb with a kick. Good stop by Neville. Courtney Johnson with another stop. And now we got a two-on-one on Borb. Lakeshore gets the ball. I, th I think Courtney Johnson, he must practice a lot. Yeah, he's showing some pretty good skill inside the box here. Still getting the ball. Passing it over to Derek. Derek Weissing now. Berger getting possession. Jake Bather Borb with the pass down the sideline. Josh Berger with the ball. Trying to navigate his way through the box. Jake Bath battling towards the corner of the box. Heading down towards the corner of the court. Let's see if he can get this ball out of the corner into one of his teammates at the top of the box. Oh, we've got a cross the court. Oh, and a shot. Just a bit outside. So, so close. That was so close. So close. Looks like we got Lakeshore now with the goal kick. We are at the 17-minute mark here in the first half. Bork with the early one nothing lead. Bork, uh, I mean, Lakeshore should uh, step it up a little bit. Yeah, Lakeshore has been spending most of the time here on defense in the first half. Not too many opportunities on the offensive front. I wonder if they're focusing on defense in the first half. Yep. Then focusing on offense on the second half. Here we got goalie Jake Bath taking the kick in for Borp. Hits it to the center. Courtney with the good stop. Mac Neville showing the defense for Lakeshore. Ooh, we got last hit off Borp. Lakeshore gets the possession down here on their side of the court. See where Neville decides to go. He's now up. Just a quick kick here down the sideline. Neville continuing to def defend and fight with the Four player. Colin Kane taking the ball in now for Borp. Borp with another opportunity for a goal here late in the first half. They're continuing to duel. Neville trying to get the ball out. Kane with the backward reverse to try and get the ball free for a, either a shot attempt or a pass up on the top of the box. Kane coming around. Quick pass, all oh, deflected by Neville. Bath and Neville continuing to duel near the corner of the box. Taking it down, down to the court. Oh, off Neville. Oh, no, it looks like there was a deflection off Borb, so now Lakeshore retains possession. Lucky. <laughs> Steel here with the inbound. Neville taking it down center. Goalie Jake Barth with a nice stop. John Madigan getting possession of the ball. Dribbling around center court. Neville quick to defend. Neville continuing to duel. He retains possession. Oh. Last touch off Forbes. Now we have Lakeshore on the offensive side of the court. See how they set up here. Try to score before the end of the half. Neil with a kick in. Steel setting up at the top of the box. Derek Wise sitting wide. Wise with the opportunity for a kick on goal. Neville regaining possession at the top of the box. Looking for the pass. Berger regains possession for Borp. Oh, last touch off Lakeshore. Borp gets possession. We are in the 20th minute of the first half. See how much stoppage time is added. Madigan with the spin kick. Oh, nice shot. Great save by Courtney Johnson. So well. We got a goal kick here for Lakeshore. He's just rocking it. 
That was a great kick. Almost a, a nice goal there, but a good deflection by Courtney Johnson. Madigan with the deflection again. Lakeshore get possession. Steele with the inbound. Neville with the thread. Neville continuing to get possession. Jake Bath had to deflect it off, so Lakeshore gets an opportunity here on the near court. Steele with the kick inbound. Neville sitting up at the corner of the box with Wise far side. Madigan with the deflection. Bit of a breakaway here for Borp. Johnson deciding to settle back. Play defense. Steele in the box. Steele with a good duel. Oh, just nicked off of Steele's chair. Giving a corner kick opportunity for Borp. What are you looking to see here, Devin? With Borp with the opportunity. Uh well, they have a corner kick, and I think they're gonna sit it down for post. Well, oh. I thought they Mike were gonna. The whistle. I thought they were gonna sit it down post for the guy just to ram into it. Mm -hmm. But nope, they passed it in the middle. All right, we're gonna get a reset here. Courtney Johnson for Lakeshore setting up for the corner kick. Mike McCoy giving him some instruction. Now in corners, the goalie must be all the way off the court. And if they're going to be within five meters, they need to set up uh, right against the post that you see there. Bath now with the kick. The guy at far post needs to go up some more. Bath far side. Ah, just a little bit wide on that again. McCoy with the half court whistle. So now we have reached half time. The score right now, Borg pressures one, Lakeshore power zero. We will resume shortly and we'll see what the action picks up later. Goodbye.
this is the uh, 2018 uh, champions championship conference, and it's the second half, and we have Lakeshore Power and Borp Borp Crushers, and I'm here with Gabe, and my name is Debbie Johnson, and here we start the second half. Perfect, thanks, Devin. We are underway here in the second half at the Turnstone Center in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Here you're watching the Champions Conference action here between the Borp Crushers and Lakeshore Power. The Crushers with the early 1-0 lead here in the second half. They scored early in the first half and have maintained the one-score lead here in the second half. And on the other end, we have Lakeshore Power uh, that, that, that's, that has still zero. But I'm very confident that they might score. Oh, and the near miss by Derek Wise with the good feed from Mike Neville. It'll be now a goal kick for Borp. Jake Bath, the goalie for Borp, is now taking the kick. Oh, Derek Wise almost snuck in and stole that goal kick. Neville here now defending against Colum Kane. Neville continuing to duel. Kane getting the advantage. Oh, Neville with the pass back. Kane with a good spot over to Madigan. Courtney Johnson with the save, taking it out. Trying to get back in the box. Burger for Borp. Oh, Neville with the good save here. Looks like we got a, a Borp possession here on the sideline. Colum Kane getting ready to take the kick in. Got a little stoppage in play here as ref Mike McCoy assists Derek Weiss. Looks like we're almost ready to go here. Well, we have a break in play. We just want to thank everyone here watching us live on livestream.com. Devin, what are your thoughts on the first half so far? I mean, I like the first half. I like how I like how we're playing hard, trying. Yeah, um, yeah, like they like passing. They're really good on their passing. Mm -hmm. They're shooting. I think they just need to be a little bit better in shooting. Looks like we have a bit of a equipment malfunction here for Derek Wise of Lakeshore. Looks like we have Derek Wise needing to get off the court to get his equipment situated. We're going to need a sub to come in for Lakeshore. We got number 21, Stephanie Odom for Lakeshore, moving into the goal box now for Lakeshore. And Courtney Johnson will now move up and be an attacker for Lakeshore. <sighs> looks, looks like the possession will still belong to Borp once we resume action. All right, we're getting ready to resume. Borp's ball. Borp has possession with Colin Kane taking the kick in. John Madigan setting up at center on the offensive side of the court. Josh Berger near the top of the box as well. Just a slight tap to goalie Jake Bath. Bath now with possession, dueling with Courtney Johnson of Lakeshore. Courtney Johnson passes it to Mike Neville, and it's out of bounds. Borp's ball. Colin Kane is about to kick it. Yep. Passes it to, to goalie. Colin Kane. Goalie gets it out. Mike Neville. Good passing right now between Steele and Neville. And now we got a far side. Borp will get possession once again off the sideline. Madigan setting up near the line. Looks like it's a kick in to Jake Bath. Bath with the pass back to Kane. And it ricocheted off Neville's card. And we have Borp with the possession down here. I wonder if, I think Borp, I hope Borp scores another goal. Bath with and the big spin wow. kick. He could have spin kicked that and made it go right back. All right, looks like, oh, like it ricocheted off the goalpost, so now it's Lakeshore's possession. 
Neville with the inbound. Johnson ready to receive the pass. Kane with the interception. Neville now with the ball. Hits it out of bounds. Board possession. Jake Bath with the inbound for Borp. Colin Kane staying up at the top of the box with Madigan far side for Borp. Ooh, cross cross Madigan. Madigan with the spin kick. This deflected by Mike Neville. Then it gets out of bounds. Lakeshore's powers ball. All right, we got Lakeshore here with the ball now. Mike Neville. Pass. Oh, oh. Passes it to Courtney Johnson. Errant pass by Neville. Gives possession back to Borp near center court. Colin Kane with the kick in. Jake Bath ready to receive. Jake Bath taking the ball down the court. Neville with the quick interception. Bath and Neville continuing the duel near the top of the box. Neville looking for an opportunity to get the ball around. Bath showing good skill with his battling. Josh hits it, hits it to Bath. Jake out. Oh. Neville showing good deep. And we've got an errant pass. And it will be Bort Ball. Looks like, like Mike uh, Neville telling his teammates where to go. Josh Berger taking the inbound now for Borp. Berger passes it to Jake Bat. Oh. Oh, we have two on one. No, but no call. Courtney Johnson now with a quick spin kick across court. Still unable to receive the ball. We now have Borp again with the kick in. Berger taking the inbounds here now on the far or near side. Kane now far side set up across with Madrigan right up ahead for Berger. Bath with the pass. The Neville. Bath passes it. Neville gets it back. Neville intercepts it. Neville taking the ball in, waiting for his teammates. Neville looking for somebody to be open. Still dribbling, still dribbling. Oh, we got some congestion in the center of the top of the box. Neville and Berger fighting against each other. Neville passes it. We have Bat. Gets oh. it back. McCoy with the whistle and a two-on-one on Borp. Lakeshore now has a kick here at the top of the box. What do you think? We got a good setup here for Lakeshore, Devin? I think so. Oh. They're spread open. The center is open. Courtney but this John is an indirect kick. He just oh. has to pass it to Courtney Johnson. Courtney Johnson has to pass it to... Neville with the kick. Oh, Johnson back to Neville. Oh, Neville with the whiff. Wow. We got the ball rolling down court towards Borp's end. Neville with the re rebound. Now fighting with Josh Berger. Neville and Berger. Berger with the center pass to Madrigan. Kane now getting the ball in the goal box. Still in bounds, still in play, still in play. Kane now has it, ready for the pass back to Burt Path. Madrigan now with the tip. Ball's wide open at the top of the box. Bath with the pass back to Berger. Berger back to Bath. To a good stop by Neville. He's all over the goal box playing defense for Lakeshore. Superb stop there by Neville. Bath with the kick in for Borp. Madrigan with the hit. Madrigan couldn't get it as Neville gets in with the stop. There should have been someone there. There should have been. Almost had it. Sorry. Neville with the kick in now. Neville. Neville looking for an opening. He sends it to the near side for Steele. Steele lets it go through and roll for a goal kick for Borp. Borp now has possession. We're in the 30th minute here in the second half of Borp, Crushers, and Lakeshore Power in the Champions Conference. Crushers still retain the 1 0 lead. Let's see where Bath takes it. Decides to go to the center. Bounces off Madrigan. Bath with the rebound. Neville! Oh. Neville with the hit off of Bath. Bath just hits it out of bounds. Bath should have not hit it out of bounds, but he. He just, I don't know. 
now we have Steele now ready to take the inbound for Lakeshore. Neville and Steele discussing what they're going to do with their strategy. Neville now deciding to take the kick. Steele at center court waiting to receive the pass with Courtney Johnson far side. Neville goes far side to Johnson. Johnson continues to retain possession fighting with Kane. Dueling, dueling. Neville on the back. Neville coming in to take possession. Oh, we have the ball rolling in the box. Kane and Neville now. Tip off of Kane, which gives Lakeshore the opportunity with a kick in near the offensive side. Neville setting up. <laughs> Referee Mike McCoy stops <coughs> play. Excuse me, sorry. As what looks like Kane and Johnson trying to set up for possession at the top of the box. We have a wall set up by Borb with Bath and Madrigan inside the box while Kane sets up just outside. One of the rules to look out for here is three in the box as we can't have three defenders within the box or else they will get called for a penalty. We don't want a penalty. Bath with the stop. Steal. Ball's hit now to Neville. Neville with the hit back to Johnson. Johnson across the court. Steal back to Johnson. Johnson with a nice pass back to Steele. Steele with the shot. And a save by Bath. Steele continuing to try and retain possession for Lakeshore. But Bath is dribbling the ball out towards center court. Bath now with the push down for Borp. Steele with the interception. But then Berger quickly recovers. Madrigan now retaining possession for Borp. Kane with the spin kick. Jostled a little bit there by Neville. Berger now gets possession of the ball with Neville fighting. A lot of center court action going on. Neville regains possession. Kane tries to get him with the rebound. Johnson now with the spin kick and off ref Mike McCoy almost goes in for Lakeshore. Almost. They could tie the game up. Could have seen the tying there, but now Neville with the opportunity for a kick in and a score here for Lakeshore. Neville setting up Johnson top of the box with Steele far side. Neville with the hit. Still trying to keep it on the offensive side for Lakeshore, but Madrigan getting the ball, fighting and battling towards center court. Steele now fighting with Madrigan. Neville taking possession. Bless me, sorry. There we go. Neville with some nifty moves here towards center court. And Neville can't control, and it's out. Looked like there was a good shot for them, Devin, but it's not looking good for Lakeshore. It will be good. Oh. Still one nothing for Borp here against Lakeshore Power. Lakeshore looking to keep the ball on the offensive side to try and tie this game up. Jake Bath receiving the kick for Borp. Bath to Kane dribbling down the sideline. Johnson showing some good moves. Stealing possession from Kane. Bath with the quick recovery to stop any possession. Bath now redirecting Johnson. Now we got a ball breakaway here for Borp. Stephanie Odom came out but then decided to stay back in the box for Lakeshore. Steele trying to get the ball before it heads out and it just nicked out. So now we have Borp with the ball. He hit it, then it went further out. Yep. The last touch off Steele for Lakeshore gave possession to Borp. Josh Berger now with the inbound. Bath ready to receive the inbound. Madrigan pulling back off center court. Looks like he went far side to Kane. Madrigan now getting possession at the top of the box with Neville quickly providing defense. Neville dueling with Madrigan. Berger now with the quick interception. Fighting at the top of the box. Courtney Johnson with the spin kick towards center. Oh, we have the ball rolling down. Bath, quick to recover. Dueling at the top of the court. Ricochet. Off Borp. Looks like now we have Lakeshore possession. Neville taking the inbound. Neville with the quick kick. Little nudge towards Courtney Johnson. Johnson knocks it out of bounds. Regaining possession for Borp. Kane with the kick in here. Madrigan and Bath setting up near center court. Watch out for the two on ones. Bath now gets possession. Oh, Neville. Quick stop. Neville back from Steele. 
Neville forcing the ball back down towards the offensive side for Bork. Steele is doing pretty good. Steele is doing pretty well, showing some good niftiness here in center court. Steele with kick in now for Lakeshore. Neville waiting to receive, see where he goes. Neville decides to let it go. Madrigan now with the ball towards the top. Neville and Madrigan dueling. Oh, Neville decides to let it go to force a goal kick for Lakeshore. Low scoring game here, Devin. Let's see what we got here going. Neville's going to take the goal kick. Oh, looks now he's passed it off to Steele. Still setting up at the top of the box, waiting for the kick in. Neville lets it ricochet. Madrigan with the rebound takes it away. Heading down towards the corner of the goal box with a quick pass top of the box to Berger. Berger getting a shot. Oh, good save by Stephanie Odom. Here we go. Borb has another opportunity with the side kick in. They only have like five more minutes to play. Almost yeah, we're in the 36th minute here in the second half. Almost to the Ooh, Nice tip by Kane. Madrigan with the spin kick. Has an errant pass. Neville regains possession. Now it's over to Bath for Borp. Kane and Neville fighting. Madrigan now with Neville. Neville continuing to show big defense. Steele with the hit. Four more minutes. Borp with a good pass around Steele. Steele with the spin kick heading down. Long pass just wide. Wow. We had an open net by Bath since he was being a little bit aggressive and coming out on top of the box. For Borp, which left the shot. Just a narrow miss by Steele. That scared me. I thought he was going to score. And for Could have been a short. half court shot to tie it up. <laughs> but we remain at 1 0 for Borp. If he could have curved it a little bit, it'd be good. Just a few more minutes left in this game for Lakeshore to try and tie it up. But here we go with Bath and the kick, and Neville catches it. Bath, now possession, waiting for Berger. Neville with the interception. Steele. Doesn't know which way to spin. Oh, we could have a two-on-one call here. Yep, yep Mike with the one. whistle. It was, it was it was it uh, was Courtney Johnson and uh, Travis Steele. Yep. Traveris. Traveris. Yeah, Traveris. So Bath and Berger ready for the kick-in after the two-on-one call. Neville with a good hit, sending the ball back down the toward the offensive side for Lakeshore going to be Bort Ball down in the corner. Let's see if Lakeshore can intercept and tie this game up with the ball on the offensive side. Courtney Johnson creeping in, trying to intercept the pass. Inbounds towards the goal box. Neville now quickly intercept, and we got another two-on-one here on Lakeshore with a miscommunication between Steele and Neville. They're talking over the strategy right now, trying to reset up. See what happens now with Bath taking the kick in. Berger ready for the hit. They might go down here on the sideline. Berger taking the pass back to back. Kane now with the spin kick towards center court. Madrigan pushing the ball back towards Bath. Neville with the quick switch. Coming back around. Mike McCoy with no whistle. Letting the ball play through. Kane and Neville fighting towards the sword. Madrigan. Spinning around at the top of the box. What's the call here? We got two on one on Bork, which gives possession to Lakeshore. We are in the 39th minute here of the Bork Crushers and Lakeshore Power. Bork maintaining the 1 0 lead for most of the game here, with the final minutes ticking away for Lakeshore to try and come away with at least a draw here in the MK Battery Conference Cup. Neville with the hit into Johnson. Johnson lets it go. Steele trying to stop the inbound, but Bath takes it in. Neville with the stop. Kane fighting now with Neville. Neville showing defense, continuing to try and keep the ball away from Borp. Neville fighting, trying to look for his, his teammates. It's been a lot of dribbling this whole half. Not much passing going on for Lakeshore. Maybe start their passing. How many right. two on ones are there gonna be? Yeah, when the play gets congested like this, you start to see a lot of two on ones. Less spread out foreplay. 
Here we go. Johnson ready for the inbound. Collin with the interception. These are a good matchup. This is a very even matchup. Here we go. Bork with the opportunity to score here late in the second half. Odom fighting with Neville. Neville trying to stop Kane from trying to score here. Oh, so ah. close. Almost with Kane, just couldn't get possession to pass back. We now have a goal kick for Lakeshore. Neville waiting for the inbound. McCoy setting up at the top of the box. Mike Neville. Neville with the hit. It. Courtney Johnson misses the ball as Madrigan hits it wide. We now have Lakeshore pinned deep in their own territory. Still ready to take the kick in. We're now in stoppage time here in the second half between Borp and Lakeshore. One more last ditch effort for Lakeshore to try and tie this game up or give victory to Borp with the low scoring one nothing. Berger now with the inbound. Bath with the hit in. Madrigan back to Berger. Berger setting it wide. Neville with the errant kick sends the possession back to Borp on the far side. Kane with the quick kick ends up becoming a goal kick for Lakeshore. Time's ticking away here for Lakeshore to try and tie this game up. Not much longer left for stoppage time. Lakeshore with a couple passes back. Oh, whiff by Steele. Steele taking the inbound. They gotta hurry up if they wanna try and score here. Can't be much time left for stoppage. Courtney Johnson with the far pass, sending it down towards the court. Bath with the stop. Bath getting possession, sending it back up top. Neville. Pass, it's off of Bath. What? It's off of. That was. Uh. And that's the final whistle by Mike McCoy. And our final is Borp Crushers 1, Lakeshore Power 0. A low scoring affair between these two conference teams. And we look to see more action as the. MK Conference Cups continues. I'm Gabe Trujillo with Devin Johnson here. Devin, any final thoughts? No, I thought it was a really good game. I just think Lakeshore needs to like step it up. Yeah, Lakeshore uh, continues to improve. Hopefully they can rebound off this one nothing loss. Uh -huh. And for Borp, uh, looks like they need yeah. to build on this and see if they can get some more offense later on. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching and see you later. Thanks. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.